ahead of what I imagine is, is quite a, a landmark game for you uh, tomorrow. Um, we'll talk more about that and, and its significance, but I, I'm just conscious of the fact that, that some people listening to this right now might not know what Her Game 2 actually is. So could you just explain to us what the Her Game 2 movement is within football and indeed other sports as well? So Her Game 2 is a voluntary organisation which was founded in May 2021 and it originated from 12 female football fans wanting to make a change and we've now expanded into an amazing team of over 80 ambassadors working towards the same goals. Her Game 2 is a campaign which is promoting inclusivity for women in sport and also building a safe environment for women and girls to play, support and work in football. How did um, how did you come about getting involved with it then? What what was it about being in this movement uh, from your perspective that was so important? Just to make a change in football and just to see like what sort of impact me and then obviously all the other ambassadors can make. It's it's been such a a fast growing movement. Um, you know, I remember when it first started and then it's since grown and. I think nearly every football club, if not all football clubs of the 92 professional clubs in England have have a Her Game 2 ambassador. Um, you've obviously become the Bradford City ambassador in the last few months. Um, what, what's that been like for you to, to have that role and, and the responsibility that comes with it? It's such a proud feeling, um, just like to make a change in football. I've been a Bradford fan for as long as I can remember. <laughs> so to like do something that's like obviously helping to make a change and obviously helping out my local club is just yeah. like a dream come true for me. How did it come about? What what did you have to do to, to get that role? So I have obviously saw that Bradford City and Her Game 2 partnered on International Women's Day last year. Mm. So I was like, okay, I'll look into it. I applied for the role online and then got an interview with our founder, Kaz, who is an unbelievable woman. <laughs> and... um. We went from there and then obviously I got the role and here I am today. Well, you're doing brilliant work. You know, I've seen you on social you. media and, and the exposure that you, you're giving, not only the football club, but, but this movement as well too. Um, how, how significant will tomorrow be for you? As you say, the partnership between Her Game 2 and Bradford City only formed in the last 12 months. This is the first official Her Game 2 fixture to take place at Valley Parade. So this is a, a landmark moment. Yeah, it's it's a huge moment. It's so important for clubs like Bradford City to be spreading the message of her game too. And football clubs have had such a, like they have such a huge influence on the community. Mm. So it's good to see them championing an inclusive environment and it's a big help for us as a campaign as we're working towards changing those negative mindsets when it comes to women in football and we just hope the message of her game too gets out to as many people as possible. If you wouldn't mind just touching on that that negative mindset that you talk about, you know, her game too is there to try and stamp out sexism within the game. Is it something that you have experienced yourself as a, as a football fan? Not personally like direct, but like I always had a fear of posting my opinions on social media just because I am a woman mm. and I'm worried of what people are going to say, but I know some of the other ambassadors have experienced far worse, but as like we come together as her game too, it's like, we're trying to like push sexism out of football because it doesn't need to be there. Yeah. And like obviously clubs are acknowledging the sexism now and they're taking action against supporters who are committing offences. So like supporters getting banned. Yeah. And they've also um, some clubs are doing like um, anti-sexism courses as well mm -hmm. for offenders, which is really great to see. Yeah, are you seeing a, a change? Uh, you know, we talk about how how quickly this this movement has grown and, and the Her Game 2 brand now, which is, I think, is well known across many footballing circles. But are you seeing a, a tangible change in the stands on, on social media? Yeah, I'd say there's like a little bit of a change. Obviously, Her Game 2 isn't even two years old yet. Yeah. But we have a long way to go. We've started seeing like attitudes changing from people and other people like fans are calling out sexism in the stands as well as online as well, which is really good to see. All the football clubs as well have started implementing reporting lines so fans can report the incidents quite safely and quickly as well. It's really pleasing to hear. It really, really is. And it's down to the great work that, that you're doing. I mean, is it empowering to have that, that responsibility as the, as the Bradford City ambassador in this movement? Yeah, it's quite empowering. Like like I said, it's a dream come true. I've been a Bradford fan for as long as I can remember. <laughs> and just to like do something like this, 
and hopefully inspire other girls to come forward and come to games, work in football, play football, what, whatever. It was just like, it really, it really does feel empowering. Yeah, and, and what will it feel like being out on the pitch at half time? I think that that's right. I'm saying I'm right in saying that, yes. aren't I? That you'll be out there on the pitch at half time. So what will what will that be like for you spreading that message? Very nerve wracking, I think. <laughs> just looking around at all the fans. Oh God. But yeah, I'm so excited, especially because I have the Hartlepool ambassador Jill as well with me. Brilliant. So I'm really excited, actually, just so more people would know about the campaign and obviously the work that we do behind the scenes. Yeah, and and it must it must mean a lot as well to to see that the players wear the t-shirts. You know, I've seen a number of, of football clubs up and down the country and their respective players wear the t-shirt with her game two on the front of it during the the pre-match warm ups and whatnot. You know that that unity. Must must go a long way in in what is a, a you know stereotypically and wrongly as you're trying to break that stigma a, a male dominant sport. Yeah, exactly. It's really good to see like obviously the players like big name players wearing the shirts and like obviously being on TV or whatever. And it's just really good that like obviously the clubs and the players are obviously supporting the campaign and then pushing it to as many people as possible. It would be wrong of me, uh, Driti, to to not ask you as a Bradford City fan what you've made of of this season so far and and what your hopes are for this for this campaign. It's been a good season. It has been a good season. Um, I'm still like in awe of the fact that Mark Hughes is our manager. <laughs> it still baffles me that how we managed to get him and the players as well. Like some of the players that we've got, like they're just Bradford. Just that that's what you want from them. Um for the rest of the season, obviously playoffs are automatic. Yeah. I think every Bradford fan wants to say that, but like I think personally we have the squad and we have the capability to go do it, so why not do it? I like that rally call. I mean you, you said there that you you're nervous with your her game two hat on for, for half time. As a as a Bradford City fan, are you are you nervous about these next two home games? They feel like crunch games and they feel like games that could could define how the season ends up for Bradford City. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but obviously it's down to the players and <laughs> I believe that they can do it, so why not? But, like, obviously if we win both games, it's, like, a defining moment and I feel like we can do it. Like, why not? We have the capability, like I said, so we should be able to go and get a result at both of them. 